What is up, guys? Abstract back again with the next episode of Angels of Death. Uh, when we left off, we made it to the church in episode 3. We passed some uh, puzzles. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, if you notice in this video, uh, I have a webcam now. This is for the first episode of this series. Uh, the lighting's a little off. I think it's self-adjusting, but uh, it's pretty dark in my room, so I apologize. Um, anyways, guys, let's get to it. All right, uh, we have to go back to the second floor where the doctor was because we have to get some medicine for uh, Zach. God desires the pure and sincere. Hence I acquire what art thou? A sacrifice? An angel? Oh, we already read this. Oh, yeah, we already read that. Okay. I pass through this place, but it sort of feels like I may have skipped several rooms. Can I go through here? Oh yeah, I had to go check on Zach. That's right. What the? Zach? Shit. <laughs> Zach, hold still. Hey, Ray, where'd you go? I was looking out for something to stop your bleeding. What? By yourself? What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, you had to cough. I mean, I can't very well force you to move now, can I? Plus, you were sound asleep. Idiot, just whack me till I get up then. I can't do that. Man, you're stubborn. So, did you find anything? No. But if I go back down to B5, there should be medical supplies. Huh? Going back now? Yeah, but if I go... Whoa, Zach. Relax for one second in your life. Sip it, what am I, five years old? My side is heavy as hell. This doesn't make a lick of sense. No, you rest. I'll go down below to get your medicine. Zach, you lie down and take it easy. Huh? Zack, you'll die. Your scythe being heavy is your body telling you that something's not right. Don't assume I'm a goner, got that? You know I won't die so easily, right? But... Pretty please, Zack. Give me a chance to actually help you. Please? Don't think for a second that I'm gonna let you just because you said please. Please. I'll cave. Anyway, how are you going to get down there? Oh, uh... I'll manage. Can you really manage by yourself out there? Yeah. Fine. Right now I can't even carry my scythe. I'd probably just be extra baggage like this anyway. No. What else would I be then? But if you think you'll survive, then go for it. You're right. My stomach's killing me and I can't move. I'm gonna get some shut-eye. Okay. Ooh. I know and, uh... Oh, hey. While you're at it, hit B6, too. Huh? B6 where I first found you. I want you to bring me something from there. Got it. What do you want me to bring you? Zack passed out again. An injury like that, I don't blame him. I'll go see that preacher. But, um, I don't remember which episode it was. I think it was three or two, but when Zack originally killed the, uh, the doctor, when you left the room again, he, like, lifted his head up and looked at you for, like, a split second. So, I don't know if he's... I think he's still alive. Because when you look at the chapters of the game, he's the he's the boss for chapter four. So it's gonna be kind of freaky. Hast thou come to a decision? I need to get back down to B5. I decided to uh turn my light on so I could get some better lighting for the uh face cam, so I need to go back down to B5 to get some medicine. So I'll take your test. Hmm, so be it. Let us be off then. Okay. 
Oh, and do me a favor. Please don't do anything to Zack. Of course. He seems like a genuinely nice person. Why is it? I smell a sweet scent coming from him. I genuinely like the preacher. He seems like a nice person. He's, he's really trying to help me out. It seems you felt compelled to keep me away from Zack. You needn't keep a watchful eye on me. No harm shall come to him by my hand. Shall we get going, Rachel Gardner? Yo, I'm genuinely, like, I'm fearing for my life right now, man. I gotta go all the way back to be the both floors. Why do you help Zack cling to life? If you were to die, I'd be lost. Be lost? What do you mean? It's because I want Zack to kill me. Zack made an oath to God. Interesting. So that's your incentive? Heavens. Just a terrible oath you have forged. Just as I suspected. The sweet scent. It's coming from him. Yo, what's happening? Can I... Rachel? Rachel Gardner. Ah. What? Well, for now, we have arrived at B3. What does it matter? It's nothing. I just had something in my eyes, that's all. What boss was B3? I think this was the graveyard. Henceforth, all I can do is offer you sage advice. No need to be intimidated. It shan't prove difficult. To operate the elevator leading down from here, thou must find its mechanism and press the switch. The B3 switch is located in the jail. If you can press it, then I shall open up the elevator. The jail. That's where Zack stomped an arm. That was sticking out from one of the cells. Time to get moving. Yeah, this is... Or no, I can't remember who's... Uh, I've already read that in one of the earlier episodes. Oh, never mind. This is uh, where Kathy was. Kathy's penchant for deception has made Floor B3 more trap-laden than any other. She was gifted at using them to reach people emotionally, and thus lead them to seek self-reproach and salvation. Though she always was a bit of a spindrift. Let us call it one of her charms, shall we? Hence, there could still be some- Oh, there could still be some here seeking self-reproach and salvation. Now then, I will go ahead and wait by the elevator that descends to the floors below. Okay. Ah. Oh. I'm actually, I am fairly sure the jail was further down this way. I gotta make this quick. Uh, was it? Was it this way? What? Kathy's gone. The body is gone. Traces of blood, an arm, and a whip are all that remain. Why? Yo, Kathy's alive. It's locked. Can I pick that up? No. Can I pick the sword up? No. Holy dude. This is actually terrifying. I don't even know what's going on. I think... She was obviously drugged by the doctor. The iron bars are open. I should be able to get to the jail cells through here. Yeah, but do you really want to do that? Not there. That's the electric chair room. Okay, you're just going to make me go through it. Oh, okay. I still hear voices. There's no illumination yet. The back of the jail cell is fully visible. 
I think I have to go to where that one where the arm was sticking out. I think it was this one right up here. This was the only place where an arm looking thing popped out. Something's there. Is that the switch he mentioned? Can I reach it? Oh, jump scare. What the fuck? What the f Run! Oh, what's the sprint button? Oh, it's uh. Let's go! Alright, we're back! I'm just choosing a completely different route now because I don't know which way to go. It doesn't look like they'll follow me here, though. I can't get into the jail like this. Those things are in the way. I can't use my gun anymore. What do I do now? I got it. This floor has traps all over the place. The jail's over there. There should at least be a way to deal with them when they come out of their cells. I'll check out the uh, room with the machine that controls the floor. Alright, I think that was this machine. I should be able to bring up security video here. It's this room. And the device mechanism for this room. This is harder than I thought. Is this it? Here we are. From here, I can look at the screen and shoot them. I wonder if she was shooting would-be escapees with this. Could that be why there's many of them here? Do I use my mouse? I'm short of time. Gotta hurry. I just need to align the crosshairs and press this button. Then I can safely enter the room. Aim, cross pad, fire, confirm button. Go for leg shots instead of head shots. What? Why? Yo! I play FPSs all the time! Oh snap. I just missed all of those shots. Yo, I'm not missing! Okay, you have to aim before. There was one more, I think. Yo, are you kidding me? Yo, <laughs> what just happened? I hate this game. Now I can pass through safely. And there's Kathy. What the f- What a terrible thing you've done. Disposing of those who lament in pain and suffering like yesterday's garbage. Yet you show no emotion. We'll stop at nothing to have Zeg take your life. Rachel, you truly are a sinful woman. What was that? Wait, it's gone. I don't get it. At any rate, I gotta hurry. Yeah, you do. I shot them all, so I shouldn't be obstructed anymore. Ah. No, this is no time to worry about that. Now, worry about what? Whatever. I'm sure I shot them. There's no trace of them. I think this is it. Okay, I pressed the gel switch now. That sound. Was it the elevator? I'll go see him now. Oh, I don't have to make my way back. It appears you've managed to press the switch. Yes, Reverend. And how did you accomplish this feat? Did not a soul give chase or impede your progress? No, somebody did. But I shot them all. Is that so? And what was your reasoning for such an act? Because they were in the way. I think that was I think that was the test. He wanted me to see how I would get through it, and I shot them all. I see. Well, time is short. Let us carry on to the next floor. So I think after this. Well, we have arrived, Rachel Gardner. Uh-huh. As you requested, floor B4. The switch here is within the water temperature control room. Why must you do all of this? 
What do you mean? For a while now, your actions have been confusing me. I just want to go downstairs to find some medicine. Tis all for the sake of learning who you are. Who I am? Indeed. For you see, you are irregular. A lamentable lamb, or perhaps a demon. Sorry about that, guys. I had to grab a phone call, but this is actually going to be it for today's episode. Um, it's been about 16 minutes, 17 minutes long. I actually had to re-record this outro because I was the first one. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and look forward to tomorrow's episode. As always, until next time.